Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2. When we last left off, we had just spent the last of our bonding points. And now we're going to go visit uh, Scarlet over here in the Annex. Oh, wait, that's the Duke's Quarters. Wrong way. This way. This is where it is. Yeah, I don't think Duke Alborea would want to see us. Oh! I knew it would be you. Did you come to listen to me whine and complain about you? I know you didn't want me to save you, but you don't have to hate me for it. I was just joking. I don't care what happens to me. Whether I live or die or get executed as a terrorist, what happens, happens. <sighs> Stop being so flippant about the whole thing. But you seem to be a little more cheerful than I was expecting you to be. I'm glad. Well, it sounds like you're doing alright at least. That's good. My only complaint is that I wasn't allowed to ascend to heaven like I wanted to. But perhaps this is just how it was meant to be. I wish I could tell you. You said you used to be a sister, right? You mentioned something about training over in Arteria too. I did. Though that training was a long time ago. That really takes me back. So that wasn't a lie? Uh, sorry. It wasn't that I didn't believe you, it's just... Hmm. <laughs> I'll have you know I grew up in one of the most pious families in the country. Hard as that may be to believe, I was so, so happy when I was first invited to join the church. I doubt you'd know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation for the Sacraments. They're a group full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions. To put it mildly, <laughs> it made me happier than you can imagine to be recognized by people like that at such a young age. I didn't have any special abilities of my own, but I left home, trained my hardest, and eventually became a squire. A squire? As in a kind of knight? I thought you said you became a sister. Unless you're saying the church has knights too. Ugh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Anyone would be in your position. Their image of the church begins and ends with priests and mass. As it was, my days in Arteria came to an abrupt end. Just before I went out on my first mission, I got word of what had happened. I hurried back to Erebonia as fast as I could, but I was too late to do anything. Lady Scarlet, I think you should get some more rest. S sorry, I didn't mean to make you strain yourself. You really are a softy. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest, you'll have to come back another time. So, if you're interested. It's hard to imagine someone going from being a sister to a terrorist, but that's just what happened. I'm still convinced that it would have been a waste for her to have died back there. I'm glad she seems to have calmed down for now. I'll have to come back another time to see how she's doing. All right, and with that, we've got a few other things to go do. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the Artisan Street. There's another book that we can get here. I think it's, yeah, the Alouette End. Someone in here gives it to us. Is it you? Oh, well, he gave us the fruit parfait. So that's the other thing we had to do here, I guess. But you're not the one who gives me the book. Is it you? Oh, -ho, Gambler Jack 2, Chapter 12. So I should now have... Yep, there was Chapter 5 that I was missing. Up to Chapter 12 of the normal Gambler Jack. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. All right. So we're all good on those for now. Uh, we found the windy coloring in Eusis' room. And I did off-screen buy armor for the girls and some of the guys. But really, there's not much else for us to do here other than spend the bonding points and whatnot. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and head back to the airport. Ah, there's Alfin. We could have spent some time with her, too, if we wanted to. Let's see, is it on the other side? Yeah. Now we can go back to the courageous. Mm hmm. Toa and Angelica. Something's going on in Crossbell, huh? Reen quickly left to find his classmates. Once everyone was gathered at Berea Hard Airport, they boarded the Courageous and promptly took off. <laughs> Upper rank you go! Here's a bonus from the Academy. So... Wow! That must have been tough! There we are. You, Rain? Perfect S. 38 points. So, we got the extra AP for the sweetest of challenges as well. We apprehended Duke Alberia, cleared the Spirit Shrine, did a bunch of recruiting. Yep. 38 points. We're good. Crossbell now. There seems to be something emitting light in the distance as well. What in the world is that? That looks like a giant tree. Giant glowing tree. Somebody cast Yggdrasil. Uh, I don't know. That blue barrier that was surrounding the city before is gone. But now there's something even more unbelievable in its place. An azure tree? Yeah, it looks like a tree to me, too. It's got all those branches coming out of it. I don't think trees so vast even exist in legend. Never mind in reality. Yeah, there's something completely otherworldly about it. Do you know what it is, Celine? I wish I did. There's nothing like that in any of the clan's legends. Just what is happening over in Crossbell? There's the Pantagrel. Now 
Now that's damned impressive. It must be over 2,000 arch tall. Oh, never thought I'd come face to face with something that big in my lifetime. <laughs> Life's just full of surprises. <laughs> oh, this is the very essence of beauty. So this is the fruit of the Azure Zero Project, a testament to the power of human obsession. <sighs> Looks like everything did go according to plan. Not that any other outcome was ever a possibility with my illustrious lord lending a hand. So that showed up as a result of that phantasmal blaze plan of yours? And you're planning on spawning something like that over here too? Hmm. That we are. What you see before you is a miracle born of human hands, made manifest by the Zero Child. The end of the second movement is finally nigh. Let the preparations begin. This story's finale is bound to be one to remember. The Zero Child, question mark? Guess it's almost time to wrap things up. Wonder if it'll go how she and Campanella want it to, though. Ah, back in Heimdall. Are we gonna finally see the royal family and possibly Elise? Rufus. Excuse us, Lord Rufus. Ah, it's those two. Well, well. If it isn't General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius, I had thought you were still on the Western Front. Might I ask what brings you here? Do you even need to ask? First Ruer, now Bereahard. The Eastern Front is collapsing as we speak. I see no reason for us to remain in the West any longer. I wouldn't go quite that far, General. As long as the West remains well protected, Heimdall will not fall. As for Nortia and the elements which sided with Duke Alborea, they could always abandon their neutrality. The war is still ours for the winning. That hasn't changed. <laughs> An impressive analysis. By the way, would you happen to know anything about that vast tree that sprouted up in Crossbell? Is it even a tree to begin with? I haven't viewed it from up close, but the pictures were like nothing I'd ever seen. It could be completely harmless, but it's likely causing Erebonians in the East no shortage of anxiety just by being there. I quite agree, and that concerns me as well. Still, Duke Cayenne insists its appearance was planned. There should be nothing to fear. Really now? I was aware he was affiliating himself with some suspicious society of sorts. Could the two be related? What happens behind the scenes is of no concern to us, I suppose. We are warriors. We live to fight on the battlefield. So, dear Chief of Staff, who is our next opponent to be? <laughs> Getting right down to business, I see. I'd like for the two of you to defend the capital. Your opponents are to be the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions who will be advancing upon it within the next few days. Oh, is that so? What? So they're risking everything in an attempt to take back Heimdall? That is what I predict will happen, yes. I think Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex will prove to be enough entertainment for the two of you, wouldn't you agree? After all... Only the best will do for the two strongest soldiers the Provincial Army has to offer. All right, you win. You have my attention. <laughs> the prospect alone has my blood boiling in anticipation. <laughs> I concur. Very well. We shall do as you say. This is sure to be a clash for the ages.
same time under Val Flame Palace. Duke Cayenne. The girl with the doll. And Prince Cedric. I had no idea all this existed right under the palace. Duke Cayenne, can I ask exactly where we're going? <laughs> there is no need to look so concerned, Your Highness. The place we are traveling to is to the center of this city. No, this country. And a place that governs a great power. It is where everything both ends and begins. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Please, be careful of your footing. If you were to fall off the platform, you most assuredly would go splat and die. <laughs> now, now. It won't do to frighten him. And I must say, I don't recall doing so ever being part of your duties. Uh, pardon me. I believe we're almost there. Her name is Altina or something like that. Oh, there's Vita. I've been waiting for you. Vita Clotilde? Th the opera singer? What are you doing in a place like this? Greetings, witch. I see that tree emerged successfully. <laughs> it certainly did. All that remains now is to continue the preparations here. However, let me remind you that under no circumstance. <laughs> if you would, spare me. You've made yourself perfectly clear on occasions past. And I am hardly enough of a fool to attempt to defy commands from a witch. What are the two of you talking about? And why did you bring me here? <laughs> Patience, your highness. All will be clear in due time. Oh my, could this be it? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Is that another knight? What is? What is that thing? <laughs> what? What's this feeling? <laughs> Marvelous! Marvelous! This is the legendary demon said to wield a thousand weapons! The Crimson Calamity! Which was sealed away by Saint Sandlot and Dreykels 250 years ago, and a fragment of the Great Power! The Vermilion Testarossa! Interesting. The plot thickens. The Azure Tree? That's the name of the bizarre tree that appeared in Crossbell then? Yeah, I found it out from the guild branch over there. Things still seem to be tense over in their direction. No one's really sure what it's for or what it can do. Don't think it'll have any direct effect on Erebonia though. Well, I suppose that's good news. Sort of. Still, people on this side of the country are understandably feeling uneasy about it. Yeah. People have enough to worry about without a giant glowing tree sprouting up from out of nowhere. Anyone would start feeling nervous at the sight of such a thing. At least it should keep Calvert off our backs for a while, right? They're as clueless as we are on what that thing is, and they're not going to risk an attack before they know for sure. Exactly. In a sense, it's doing the same thing for us the barrier around Crossbell City did before it up and vanished. It's probably the best distraction Erebonia could ask for about now. Oh, is that what your bracer instincts are telling you? It doesn't take a bracer to think that, Eusis. If Calvert were to invade right now while the war's going on... True. The situation we're under is plenty chaotic as it is. <sighs> All we can do right now is keep doing what we always have, and gather information. 
I'm sure we can do something to improve the situation here, but we don't know enough to decide what that something is. I'm with Gaius. Let's just take a deep breath and do the best we can. That's the best attitude to have right now, too. One thing we could do is keep looking around for other Thor students. We could always use more help, right? We still need more Zemirian ore, too. Oh, that's right! And there are still more spirit shrines left to explore as well. Strangely enough, our best course of action is to simply continue doing what we've always done, albeit with renewed dedication. That works for me. Sounds like you've got things covered in the East. Which means that all that's left for me is to wish you good luck. Take care of them, okay, Sarah? What else would I do? And you take care of yourself, too. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you before you reunite with your dearest Carnelia, now would we? Yeah, would you just drop that already? Anyway, keep it up, guys. I'll be in touch. Oh, there goes all my fun. What was all that about? Toval's girlfriend? It did sound that way. For further details, please consult a certain famous novel about a certain lovable scamp. Now certainly available in all bookstores. Poor Toval. Anyway, we should probably get to work. The best place to start would be checking the latest requests from Prince Oliver. Let's see what we got here. Missed opportunity. The trouble you helped resolve here on the Gram has, shall we say, unresolved itself and continues to worsen. We believe the cause may again lie within Lohengrin Castle. As such, we would ask your class to investigate it and see if you can resolve whatever the problem may be. Please contact us at the Lagram Bracer Guild if you are able to assist us. Hearts in Harmony I want to hold a concert to show the people of Keldic that all is not lost and help them start to heal. Would you be willing to aid me, Class 7? I'm hoping for Elliot's in particular. If so, please come meet me in Seldix Chapel. We can figure things out from there. Canyon or Cantian? I love puns, but that's just horrible. From Prince Oliver. Do you remember the scenic views of Oryx Canyon? The days we spent there so in love? Wait, wrong letter. Anyway, Reen, my good man, I've received word of a dangerous monster in the Oryx Canyon Pass. Could you be a deer and take care of it for me? The monster is Volserone, location Oryx Canyon Path 3, east area, off the main road. There's a request from Rosine about Keldic. Yeah, if we can, I'd love to help her out. Me too. It's the least we can do after all the market manager did for us. I'm in agreement. We should try and help her if time permits. Klaus also has something in mind for us, it would seem. And that being said, I think it'd be best if I were to accompany you for the time being. I'd like to come along too, especially since we have the spirit shrines to worry about. Of course, Celine will be coming with me. You'll need both of us to get through the shrines, after all. That sounds fine by me. Thanks. All right then, let's go. It is temporarily not possible to remove Laura from the party. And we might as well put Emma with us. And let's go ahead and put... Yeah, we'll go with Gaius. And then we'll put Elliot. And let's go with Fee. Because they need level ups. So... I don't have much time left, but let's see if there's anything else that we can do here on the ship, such as playing Blade. Actually, I think I will play Blade on my own time, but there is somebody we do want to speak to over here, and that is Monk. We need to go and see Klein. Where is Master Klein? Is that you? Yep.
All right, we got our character notebooks updated. I didn't want to speak to you again. I wanted to actually check the weapons, see if there's anything new. Which there are. So, off screen, I'm going to go and play Blade with uh, five different characters. Remember, it's not about winning or losing. Just as so long as you uh, play, you'll get the extra Link experience. And I'm going to try and get everybody their new weapon at the same time. So, I'm Zero Kai X. We'll see you in the next one.